Wow, Beautylish did not came to play with my delivery this time. Like I placed my order and the next day, early in the morning, it was here with me. Like what the fuck? That never happened before. Wengash came through with another luxury eye palette. This one is the Smoky Quartz and this baby, it's giving smoky, nail trust, beaucoup cool tone vibes. Yes, it is $55 made in USA and this collection was inspired by the cool nail trust worn by the supermodels in the 90s. Here we're getting six shades in mattes, satins, and shimmer finishes. We have beautiful smoky taupes, browns, and everyday neutrals. Let's do some live swatches and we're gonna start with this matte cream shade. Wow, that's pigmented. This one is a neutral taupe. Mm. And we have this deep gray brown with a satin finish. This one is so nice. You see the gray and the brown. This one is a warm brown with a matte finish. We have this deep burgundy with a matte finish. Oof, that is really pigmented. Wow. We have this sparkling warm taupe that it feels so creamy. Oh my gosh, this one is giving. Look at that. So sexy. The best way to apply this, it's either with a wet brush or your finger. And I like to wet my brush. This formulation is very emollient, buildable, and pigmented. Of course, I have to give you swatches of his other palette so we can do a little bit of comparisons. And we're gonna start with Imperius Topaz. So in this one, you're getting more warm tones. But same beautiful formulation. Look at black. This is one of the most perfect blacks. There's really something about this black that makes it like mistake proof. Like you ain't gonna fuck up when you're using this black. So if you're scared of blacks, you definitely need his blacks. Like it's not too strong, but not too yeah. subtle. Perfection. And then now we have this one. I did notice that the shimmer shade in his new palettes feels to the touch a lot creamier than this one see like this one actually has a lot more fallout comparing it to the new one and then this one is a lot more pigmented than this one now let's move on with perils and this one is more like romantic pinky shade it's a lot lighter than this two and i'm feeling the same thing with this shimmer and then last but not least, we have Tourmaline that is rich burgundy shade. Let me swatch this one right here. Wow, so pretty. See, like this shimmer doesn't feel like the shimmer in the new palette. It feels dry. Definitely this shimmer, it's a lot creamier than the shimmers in the other palettes for sure. And that one is tourmaline. So here you have smoky quartz, imperious topaz, apparels, and tourmaline. Which one do you like more? I like this one. <laughs> this new palette, it's given. Also picked up his new eyeliner. It is a cool gray with a matte finish. It is $14 and is made in Czech Republic. I think that's how you pronounce it. And don't forget that if you like both of them, the palette and the liner, you can get them together for $69. I mean, it's not really a deal because if you buy them individually, it's like $60 too, but still, if you want both of them, just get them together. You guys know that I love, I'm obsessed with his liners. I love them for like the little smudging on your outer V. They're great for like all over base. I love to create smoky eye looks with this and I have, I think, most of the colors or maybe all of them. Formulation is super, super creamy, so easy to blend. I really recommend you these liners. If you don't have them, you need them. This one is Tiger's Eyes. It's like like a deepest bronze with a satin finish. The new one is matte. Then this one is Copper Flame. It is a burned red copper with a satin finish. Then I do have Precious Opa. I had it somewhere right here and I don't find it. It's a medium bronze also with a satin finish. It's a little lighter than this one. This one is Blue Safari. I have to sharpen them, don't mind me. And this is a deep navy. 
with a matte finish. Then we have Deep Amistry. It is a smoky eggplant, also in a matte finish. Then Obsidian, it is a rich black matte finish. Honestly, love both of them and I'm so happy that the new shade it's nowhere near the existing shades like this is cool cool tone they're not waterproof but they're long lasting now I'm gonna be bringing you all up in my grill and let me show you really quick how I created this look all right let's do this let me put my hair uppity up yes I still have this shit in the side of my mouth don't ask me. I don't know what the heck is going on, but I'm going to the dermatologist tomorrow. I don't know why it didn't go sooner, but whatever. If it looks funny, it's because I'm trying not to put anything in there. I think that's one of the reasons why it's taking so long to heal. But what can I do? I need to work. I need makeup every day, so I'm trying. But if you have any recommendations for something that I can use in this ugly ass shit for it to go away faster, please let me know. So we're gonna start with a blending brush. I'm gonna be using the E29 from Rose and Benz Beauty and we're gonna start with this shade. This is gonna be my base. I'm gonna apply it in the whole entire lid and I'm also gonna be using this shade to blend these little creases that I have going on right here from the concealer. Mm, this bone color looks very creamy. I'm gonna be picking up a little bit more with the same brush for the inner corner of my eye. And also for the brow bone, we have to open up the eyes. Now with the E28 from Rose and Benz Beauty, we're going to be picking up this shade. Remember that I always told you to start all the shades on your outer V. And I'm going to be packing this shade right on my crease. I'm picking up a little bit more because I have to build it up. And I'm going to be bringing this shade from side to side. And a little bit above my crease. Back with my big fluffy brush, I'm gonna be picking up a little bit of this shade and I'm gonna use it to blend the edges of the color that I just applied on my crease. Trust me when I tell you that when you start doing this little tapping technique, instead of blending, you're never gonna go back. Again, with the tip of the bristles, I'm picking up a little bit more of the same shade because we have to build it up a little bit more. And keep your eye open and you're gonna go from side to side. I'm still using the same brush, so I'm wiping it down in my little towel. And with the side of the brush, the belly, I'm gonna go back and pick up a little bit more of the shade. And I'm just gonna bring this color back by reapplying it right here above my crease. And I'm also using it to blend the edges of the shade that we just applied. When it comes to these two shades that I already have on my eyes, which is this one and that one, they do look very similar on the eyes. That's the reason why I keep going back and forth between these two shades, because even though they're similar, I still want you to be able to see a little bit of this one and a little bit of the other one. Back with my blending brush, and I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of this shade, and I'm gonna be using it again right here on my brow bone. This is gonna make the whole look look cleaner and a little bit more sharp we're gonna be using his new eyeliner in this color oof for a cool tone eye look it's exactly what i needed i'm gonna be applying a little bit right here on my outer v and i'm just doing this messy you don't need to be precise I'm gonna be using my mini booster from Sonia G. Any little mini blending brush will do the job. And now we're gonna pick up this shade and we're gonna be mixing it up with this one. And we're gonna be using this to blend the liner. We're gonna start with circular. And we're gonna be using these two shades together to blend this liner, slow circular motions right in place. Even though his liners, they're very blendable, I don't recommend you to apply and then leave it sitting there for too long. I want you to apply and then blend it in right away. Back with the E28 from Rose and Benz Beauty, I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of this shade. I'm gonna pat it in right on top. It's just gonna give me a little extra touch and it's gonna blend everything a lot better. Let's take this off. Yes, I'm gonna be using a packing brush. This one is the A29 from Morphe and Makeup by Aerial. And I'm gonna be picking up this shade. I only picked up a little bit and I'm gonna apply it right on the center of the lid. Now I'm wiping the brush down and I'm gonna pick up a little bit of this one. And I'm also going to apply right on the center of the lid, right on top of the other shade. 
Now with the Ref Zero 2, I'm gonna be picking up this shade and I'm gonna be packing a good amount right here in the inner corner of the eye. I'm gonna be blending it up really good. So I do want it to look intense. I picked up a little bit more of the bone shade with this brush from Wayne Gosh. This is the 07 for my tear duct. Now with my flat defender from Sonia G, I'm gonna be picking up this shade and I'm gonna drag it along my lower lash. Now with the side of the same brush, I'm gonna be picking up a little bit of this one and I'm applying it very close to my lower lashes. Now I'm gonna be using the E27 from Rose and Ben's Beauty. I'm gonna wet it a little bit. I'm gonna pick up this shade and I'm gonna pat it in on the outer part of my lower lash and also in the inner part of my lower lash, very close to my lower lashes, leaving the center blank. Apply liner on my waterline. And now I'm gonna be applying a little bit more right here in this inner part of my eye, but only right here. Like I'm not gonna bring it all the way through. My Morphe M431, I'm gonna wet it. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of this beautiful shimmer and I'm gonna apply it right in the center of my lower lash to give it a little pop. So now I'm gonna be using my Worker Pro from Sonia G. Again, any packing brush will do the job, but I do like this one for shimmer. First, I'm gonna be showing you how this shimmer looks dry and then we're gonna wet it. I always like to wet my brush when I'm working with his shimmers. They get a lot more intense, less fallout. And if you wet your brush, look, they almost look like glitter. But instead, if you don't wet your brush, it is very subtle, see? Look at the difference, dry and then wet. Let's wet the brush. Oh, look at this magic, it goes from this to this. Creamy, beautiful, intense shimmer. Oh, I love it. And I'm only gonna apply this right on the center of my lid and I'm gonna bring it all the way up on my brow. Let's apply a little bit of mascara. This that just happened to me with my mascara ever happens to you. You're not gonna panic. You're gonna leave it there. Forget about it. Let it dry. And I'm gonna tell you in a minute what we're gonna do about it. All you need, it's a little spoolie. The one that you use for your brows? Yes. And then you're gonna just scratch it off. It comes right the fuck off. Alright babe, so we are done with the application part of this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you like the look. Besides this blue palette that you guys already know that I'm not the biggest fan of, but I do bring into consideration that the blues and purples, they're very hard colors to create and this one is just not a hit. I do really love this new baby, he killed it, and all his other palettes, their life. What I recommend you to do if you don't have any of his palettes, just go with the color store that you like the most. You don't have to worry about picking because they're not going to let you down trust me if you like nail trust nudes but leaning a little bit more coppery brown beigey then you definitely need his first baby the imperious topaz and this palette right here will also give you the most beautiful smoky eye looks chef kiss if you also like nail trust but you're not really with the coppery brown black type of situation and you're more like a nude settle type of person then you do need pearls and the color store right here that pink with the gray you get brown the bone shade it's live and this is one of the most stunning and unique palette for brides if you want something more sexy bold extra the tourmaline it's the one this burgundy is right here baby i love this color story but this palette it's complicated it gets patchy it can look dirty depending on your skin tone you have to know how to work this you skip it and the new one it's definitely the one we needed this cool tone shade <sighs> Thank you, Wayne. I did tell you this before when I was reviewing his other palettes and I'm gonna have to tell you the same thing again because my opinion on his palettes and his formulation overall still the same. I really love how his formula doesn't emphasize no texture, no fine lines. Like this formulation really is for all type of ages. I love how this formula looks on mature eyelids. His palette is something that I always grab when I'm in a rush, when I want something pretty but quick, when I don't have time to put makeup on, but I still wanna put myself together. And the reason why, it's because this palette, they're so easy going, they're so quick and easy to blend, no fat, 
fallout. The only little fallout that I have with this palette, it's with the shimmers, and I already told you to wet your brush. Great for beginners. Like, you don't even have to think, to be honest with you. Like, it doesn't matter if you apply one shade on top of the other one, it will still give you the perfect look. I'm gonna put it to you like this. On a fucked up day, it doesn't matter which one of his palettes I pick, I know it's not gonna let me down. And that means a lot to me. But yes, this new baby, so far, it is my favorite out of all his palettes. Don't forget to let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about it. I love you to the moon and back. Mwah. See you on the next one.